Hey guys, this is Mike from BTEC Reviews here, and today is the unboxing and quick overview of the Alcatel Verso by Cricut Wireless. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Again, this is Mike from BTEC Reviews here, and I'm gonna unbox the Alcatel Verso by Cricut Wireless here. So I bought this phone at Best Buy because it was only about $35, and you know, I love to review smartphones under $50 just because I wanna see how good they are or how bad they are. So let's go ahead and get the unboxing going just to guys give you guys kind of what's going on with the specs here. Let's go ahead, it says it's running Android system, five inch display, a five megapixel rear and a two megapixel front facing camera, 1.1 uh, quad core gigahertz processor, a 2000 milliamp battery, and HD voice. So I would not be surprised at why uh, this does not have HD voice right in 2019. But let's go ahead and get the unboxing going. I am still a fan of these old school uh, boxes that you have on these prepaid devices. And I feel like the prepaid uh, cell game, as far as like these type of uh, boxes, are kind of dying little by little every every year. So. So let's get this going, unboxing Alcatel Verso. Let me unflap this here. Uh, of course, uh, this is gonna have capacitive screen on it. So for those of you who don't know what a capacitive button or screen is, it's gonna be these little buttons down here, right there, home screen back button, and then uh, your recent apps button. So for the most part, uh, pretty okay looking phone all the way around, very, very uh, dull backing. Uh, very soft uh, tut to the touch. It's more of a matte finish than anything all the way around. Very light phone. Let's put this aside while we see what's behind here. I want to say the battery is in here. Yeah, so you have your charging brick, charging wire, which I want to say this is probably going to be USB, uh, micro USB, uh, not my, uh, USB type C. And then, of course, the battery, which the battery's in here. Sorry, that took me too long to get. I'll just put all this back. I, I'm not going to have a need for the uh stuff that's coming out over here so let's just get the back open i feel like it's already pre-opened for you or at least let's find out so you can see the backing here uh, again model 5044c again sim card's gonna go right there and micro usb or actually i'm sorry micro usb should be right here and then sim card should be over here so let's go ahead and get the battery opened here Alcatel. So Alcatel is not really that popular of a phone company, at least I, I wouldn't say in the States. Uh, they have brought out a couple of phones. Here we go. You can see that Alcatel. Uh, but anywho, I mean, they have a few good phones out there, but none that are like, wow, like at least in my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and peel this off here. Welcome to Cricut. We're thrilled you are here. Okay, so it's been a while since I've unboxed a Cricut phone also, so... Let me go ahead and get this started up and then I will uh, jump to the next portion of the video here. And we're back and we got this thing set up. So let's press OK, got it. So pretty much this phone is going to be one of your budget phones that doesn't have any type of fingerprint sensor or like uh, facial scanner security, which is pretty okay in my opinion, especially if it's less than fifty dollars. Uh, I already have it set up right out, right out of the gate. You can kind of tell that the screen it's very, it's very washed out. So for a phone that's only $35, uh, you can't expect much. You're only gonna be able to look directly at it uh, if you wanna get some good stuff going. So again, this is just the unboxing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna quirk it too hard. I mean, for again, for the price, I guess you can't complain again for the for the for the most part. Let's see what version of Android this is running. Oh wow. So this this phone is running Android. Let's see if I can get that Android 7.0. So that's actually pretty old again. I don't know how old this phone is, guys. It's probably been out for a while already. For the most part, uh, again, I've kind of slowly been getting back into the smartphone game, so so bear with me here. Uh, so far, you know, it doesn't feel too bad as far as fluidity goes. Again, I haven't really downloaded uh, that many apps to begin with, though. So if I were to take a look at the uh, amount of phone storage this has, it probably does not have much, though. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like it only has 16 gigs of internal memory. And I will check the amount of RAM it has a little later uh, when I do like another when I do a benchmark on the actual uh, phone. But all the way around, you know, it's a it's a nice feeling phone in the hand. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, it's a five-inch screen, so it's a lot 
smaller than a lot of newer phones that you can get in 2019. Like I'll put my iPhone 11 next to it so you can see the comparable size difference on that. Whoa, okay, hold on. So yeah, I mean, for the most part, you know, you have your earpiece up top with your front facing camera, two, two megapixel, you have your capacitive buttons on the bottom. You have what looks like a micro USB charging port on the bottom. There you go, let's see if I can get that to focus there. There you go. Okay, so again, the back there is just your rear five megapixel camera. So I'm pretty 100% positive that this phone probably does not shoot in anything higher than 1080p, especially with this camera. So let's take a, let's, let's take a quick snap of the, of the item here. Allow camera to access location. I'm gonna deny that. I don't know why your camera needs to know your location. So, so I'm gonna take a picture of my drink here really quick see how bad it comes out or how good it comes out you know we'll see you don't know all right so let's take a look here let's see if i can get that to focus in for you guys really quick doesn't look too bad honestly on the screen here um but again that really it really just goes back to you know how it'll look like once i upload that to a computer and whatnot so so let's take a look here as far as video here it's got video quality so your video quality is only 720 is your highest and 480 is your lowest. So that's not too bad uh, considering, you know, for people that still want to uh, do video recording, I'm pretty sure you can uh, install that micro SD card and then you can actually take some pretty decent videos with it, obviously. So not a lot of features from the get-go on the camera app from what I'm seeing here. Uh, you know, you have your settings, obviously, but again, your size, you can change it from four by three to 16 by nine. Uh, as far as that goes, low light enhancement. So that, I think that's a pretty cool feature for this budget f uh, phone to have a low light or like a low light enhancement as far as pictures, maybe even video. Uh, video stabilization, EIS, which is pretty freaking awesome. I might have to take a few videos with this. Uh, manage modes, let's see what that is. Uh, you have your photo video. Okay, so that's basically it Save locations shutter sounds you can turn that on and off your zoom in But and so pretty basic stuff. I mean, it's not it's not let's not complain too hard Let's see if I can zoom in let's see if it lets me zoom in And no, you said I'm not too sure what's going on. There you go. So it does let you zoom in a little bit it's very laggy though. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is though. Again, you're only paying $35 for a, a smartphone that probably can barely take video and pictures. But at the same time, you know, let's see what this has as far as bloatware goes. It's got Amazon. Uh, it's got your basic Google apps, of course, Chrome, uh, Google Drive, Gmail, all that good stuff. Uh, messaging. And let's see what else. Just voicemail. Wow. Okay. There and then of course my cricket. You can't have a cricket phone without the my cricket app. So again, guys, you know this is just a general unboxing and quick overview of the phone. Uh, again, the phone feels very plasticky and cheapy all the way around, but. You know, for the most part, it's got a good weight to it, and for, uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. So I'll try to use this for a few days and see what I can get out of the review here. So guys, this is Mike from B Tech Review signing off. If you like, guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you guys like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, thank you all for watching. See you next time.